is not a great angle for me. I realized I start the vlogs looking messy. And then if people are to just click on the video and they don't know me, they click on the first 30 seconds and they're like, who is this egg? I promise, disclaimer, my hair will look better in just a little bit. I need to rinse out the oil that I put in my hair. So that sounds like an excuse for why my hair is oily. No, my hair is oily, but I also add in an oil to my hair. Give me about like two minutes into this vlog and my hair will look better, I promise you. It's the star of the show. I wish you could see his eyes right now. They're just so crackhead-ish. Do we see the paw? Oh. Are you an attention whore? Oh. Anyway, welcome to this vlog. This is the second vlog in my getting my life together, my January reset. If you haven't seen the last vlog, it will be up on the screen, but it is the decluttering and cleaning and partially organizing for the new year, which I'm gonna be doing throughout January. And then if you don't know the whole plan, go back and watch the first video I posted this year, which is my whole plan of what I do to reset in the new year. I sat down and talked through the whole thing, kind of long, but I also have a Notion template for you guys that is in that video. So if you don't wanna hear me talk and you just wanna see the template, I got you. But this vlog that we're starting is the second part to my New Year's reset, and that is the planning. So we're resetting the productivity systems. We're making vision boards. We're setting goals. We're making habits, routines. I've been talking for seven minutes and like nothing was actually said. It's a rainy day. It's perfect for planning. I did my workout this morning with my sweaty little greased up head and I'm gonna take a shower, make an iced chai first. I know it's rainy, but I want an iced chai. jeans i don't have so i have my whole setup here these are the notebooks that i'm going to use for the new year i think i'm going to use one as an actual journal so i can just write whatever's on my mind whenever i want because i never write in a journal about my feelings or my life or anything to remember my life then i'm going to just keep buying this exact journal so then when i die or when i'm on my deathbed and my kids are like yo where are your journals? I will have a whole trunk full of these exact identical journals and they chronicle every year of my life. Oh my God, okay, yes. 2023, year of my life. This is the highs, the lows, that's it. So I think that's what we're gonna do for one of the journals. I'll link them below. I do have this one too, which is black. And I wrote in here when I first got it, shadow work. This is gonna be my negative journal. Not negative, but just shadow work. Working through things I don't like. Then this one I think is just gonna be my catch-all journal. This is just gonna be a big messy journal. I used to use a moleskin for that. But I think we're gonna switch it up and use this as my messy journal where I just write everything. Lists, thoughts, goals, all that stuff. And then my mom got me these little tabs for Christmas. So I kind of want to create a system for my books and tabbing my books. So like color coordinate what each tab means. Like if I tab a book in pink, it's going to be for this is a cute little romantic scene or blue, it's a quote I like, stuff like that. So I brought the tabs out just in case. I got my markers. I have more over there. We're ready to plan. The first part of my planning for the new year is resetting my productivity system. I'm pretty content with my productivity system. So Notion, my Google Calendar and my Notes app, but I think I'm just gonna go into my Notion and just kind of clean it out and update anything that I wanna update, add some lists that I wanna add. Notion, I just kind of refreshed my dashboard a little bit. I then have this as my main dashboard and then you go into everything on here. And then that's my school dashboard page and then templates that I've uploaded, which is only like two. So, and then also I'm working on my day of the week planning. So I have these pinned lists up here that are just the go-to for everything. And then I kind of want to plan out my week and have a checklist for each day, basically the themes of each day. I tried doing that on my Google Calendar and it just, it was too much. So I think just having a little checklist for each day of the week 
of the theme is going to be really helpful. So I wanted to incorporate that. So I'm making lunch right now. I put on a hoodie because I'm freezing and I am just so overwhelmed planning because my planning system is great, but I put so much pressure on myself to get it done in a week. And I just underestimated how much there is that I feel like I need to rehaul in my life and plan. I didn't get it done in a week. I was supposed to take the week before, like the week in between Christmas and New Year's, I was supposed to start making the like reels and the content for the New Year's stuff. I'm seeing all the people posting all their New Year's content and it's making me so overwhelmed because I had a perfect plan of like everything that I wanted to get up and all of the reels I wanted to do, everything that I wanted to do, but it's also hard to do that and actually do the stuff that you're making the reels about. Does that make sense? Like I've been seeing people uploading so much New Year's content that I want to create and I've had perfect plans for everything but my problem is I don't just film it I like do it while I'm filming it and because it's taking me so long to do it I feel like I'm so behind on creating content for the new year because it's taking me so long to do everything, you know? Instead of like making a bunch of reels of like, here's how to do this, I was making the reels while I was actually doing the stuff and I didn't get stuff done in time. So now I'm like, oh my God, I'm already so behind. It's like, what's the point of posting new year stuff? Because everybody's already posted everything the first week of January and I didn't do anything until the first week of January. So I didn't start creating content until the first week of January and it took me so long to declutter. I just feel so overwhelmed and I feel so behind on everything everything. I want to cry. The fact that I'm actually crying, I am not one of those bitches. I am busy and I have a lot going on in my life, but I feel like the amount of things I want to do, I just don't get enough done compared to other people. I want to have my podcast back. I want to do Sims videos. I want to do two videos on my channel a week. I want to upload reels daily, but I also am in school. So it's just, I don't know how people do that. And it's making me overwhelmed because I have all these goals that I want to accomplish, but I feel like I can't do them because I don't work at the same level as other people. Does that make sense? I always thought that it was something wrong with me, but I know it's my ADHD, but it's like other people have ADHD and they accomplish so much more and I feel like I'm not accomplishing enough and there's too much that I wanna do that I just end up getting like paralysis and I don't know what to do. And so I just feel behind on all the New Year's content found the solution to my problem. If I would have just made the reels, like all the pretty little footage without actually doing the planning or any of the stuff, I could have had that up in the first week and then just taken this entire month to do the vlogging, which I am doing. I just need to have a simple but efficient system and have better timeline. I think I underestimate and overestimate how long things take. I always think, oh yeah, I have all this time to do it, but then I underestimate how long it actually takes. And then I don't know if anything's making sense. My brain just feels cloudy and fuzzy. And this is supposed to be a video of me, you know, prepping for the new year, getting everything together. And I'm just like sitting here in paralysis because I'm overwhelmed. I have such an all or nothing mindset that like, if it's not perfect, I don't want to do it. And then it's like, oh, that's not making progress at, towards anything. I'm going to eat lunch, regroup, and then I'm going to plan out each of the goals that I want to achieve in the different categories of my life. That seems like the easiest way to just move forward and like not be in paralysis. So yeah. I got out of my little Menti B, had some lunch and just put one foot in front of the other and had a little goal, which was to create my life vision. So basically I went on my new year's reset page and I looked at the part of just idealizing and what I want my life to be like. So I just wrote down a few things, not a few, a good handful, little list of basically what I think I want my life to be like future life, just, generally what I want my life to be like. So then I created 2023 goals from that and it's just smaller versions of that. So for my life vision, I wrote down, I wanna be a best-selling author. I also wanna be a freelance writer. So like writing a column in Bon Appetit, The New Yorker, stuff like that. I wanna be financially abundant with multiple income streams. I want to own my own business, whatever that is. I've been vacillating between what I wanna do with that all throughout last year. And I think I know what I wanna do for this year. So, which I didn't actually write that down as a goal for this year. Anyway, I wanna get married and have kids. That's not now, that's not anytime soon, that's just a life goal. And I want to buy and completely customize and upgrade a home in a certain area in San Diego because I'm from San Diego, but I wanna live in this one part. I think it's a great place to like raise kids and when I'm domestic and have a family, I think that's where I wanna live. Not anytime soon, unless I'm married with kids, I don't wanna live there. I am not ready for that area. That's that's like settled me. Um, I want to finish getting my bachelor's degree. I want to travel annually. So every year I wanna go on a trip. 
I want to be fluent in multiple languages and I want to be in my best physical health. So, so that's what I had. And then for 2023 goals, kind of relating to it, like I mentioned in my other video, I have the different pillars of life. So health, environment, and your home, career and finance, hobbies and fun, personal growth, and then relationships. So romantic and platonic. But for health, I had that I wanted to continue movement five times a week. It doesn't always have to be a strenuous workout, but it could be like yoga or going for a walk. But as long as I'm moving my body five times a week, and then I want to increase my flexibility. For environment, I wanna finish decorating my office. You guys know that has been bothering me for so long. I need to just do it. I need to create a plan. I need to save for it. I need to make it happen. And then for career and finance, I have a money goal in there that I don't wanna share because I just think that's weird. And then I wanna get 222,000 followers on Instagram because 222, lucky number. And then I wanna get 200,000 views on YouTube monthly. So right now I think I'm at 100 something, but I think a nice 200 every month would just make me feel content. Then for hobbies and fun, I want to have one fun weekend day per month. So I know that sounds like not a lot at all. But usually my weekends are Saturday is my only free day because Sunday I do my weekly reset and Saturday I'm usually like hungover in the morning. So then I just take the entire day to be lazy, even though I'm not hungover the whole day. And it's just it's not how I want to live. I want to do fun things again. I want to go to the farmer's market again. I want to go to the beach with my friends. And then I want to incorporate time for a hobby every week. I did not put a specific hobby because I know myself and my ADHD, I am interested in so many things. One week I will want to be painting, another week I'll want to knit. There are so many things that I like. I could not dedicate an entire year to just one thing. So I basically just wanna make time to do a hobby every single week. For personal growth, I want to read 12 nonfiction books. I have a goal of reading 22 books this year, but I wanna make sure that 12 of them are nonfiction. So one book per month, because all I read was fiction last year and I had a goal to read nonfiction and I didn't do it. I wanna also improve my writing skill because I want to write a book. I want to freelance write. I love writing. I've always been interested in writing. I used to take creative writing classes all throughout like elementary and high school. So I really want to get back into writing and just honing that skill. Another personal growth thing that I want to do is to get away from perfectionism. So not get rid of perfectionism because I don't think you can do that. As you just heard in my rant, I'm a perfectionist to a T, all or nothing for me. And I hate it so much. I need to work on living with it because to me, I think like people are like, oh, there's no such thing as perfect. I don't believe that in my head. I don't know how to fix that, but I need something to help me cope with perfectionism and to get better at managing it. So this is the year of fixing the perfectionism because that is what holds me back from being consistent with anything because when you want everything to be perfect, you end up doing nothing and then you have no progress. For romantic relationships, I want to basically just work on healing myself because that's how I'm gonna make sure that I'm giving my best self in a relationship and I'm attracting the right partners because I'm never gonna get married and have kids and live in my little white picket fence house if I am always attracting toxic people that bring out my toxicity, you know? So I want to heal myself so that I can be in a healthy relationship. I feel so much better because of figuring out my goals. I also feel better because I basically talked it out with you guys, the whole reels thing. I should have just made those and then done them the first week of January. And then we could have just vlogged me doing all the stuff. So I feel a little bit better about that. I know the plan moving forward. I didn't like a few of the reels that I made, so I'm just stitching them. And then I'm just going to continue making some more or New Year's reels and I don't care that the timeline is off. I'm still gonna upload them. I am working on being less rigid about that. That's everything for the goals that I've planned out so far. I think that I'm going to work on my vision board now because that is just so fun. I made my little 2023 goals page in my Notion and these are all the categories that I count for my life. And then I just put a little picture for each of them. And then I'm going to make a vision board. And this is kind of the board that I put together so far of pictures for my vision board, but I have more. I kind of want to make it more cohesive and you know, a theme kind of like this, but this is actually just a mood board that I have for color palette that I like and just my own content. But I want to make my vision board similar to that, so. I love it and then I made it 
my background so that every time I go on my computer, it's my background. So I recommend making your vision board something that you like to look at. So not just pictures that are inspirational to you, but also that match your vibe. So this is all my color palette. So I thought, you know what, looks cute. I wanna see it every day. I also am making a reel of me making my vision board and I think it turned out really cute. I did not like how the decluttering one looked. It just wasn't, it just, it, it, I don't know. I want to post it, but I don't. It doesn't look, okay? It doesn't look. And then I, I did make one for the hooks in my bedroom, if you watched the last vlog. I'm filming two vlogs at the same time because I wanted to make an entirely separate vlog for decorating my apartment and not include it in this planning. You know, I want to have a theme for everything. I'm just dividing it into this part of the day, I'm decorating the apartment. This part of the day, I am planning. You get more videos. I don't know. I thought that that was the vibe that I wanted to do for January was just themed vlogs because we're doing everything to kind of reset and get our shit together. Also, there's my workout map because I'm about to work out. I just had my morning beverages, took my vitamins. I also edited the reel and posted it just now, which took a little longer. So it's now eight o'clock, which I start my workout at like 7.30. Actually woke up on time this morning at six o'clock and then I sit in bed for 15 minutes and like plan the day out and like plan my stories because I just am not good at doing it the night before. The sun doesn't come out till like seven, but the first light comes out at 6.30. So I want to be already taking Atticus out and just starting my skincare at 6 30 so then when the sun hits at 7 i'm ready to start doing stories start making reels start vlogging i didn't even put on my goals to get my sleep in order this year and that is the main priority for me because the difference between the days when i get good sleep and i wake up on time is so different from if i wake up even 30 minutes late i am so mad at myself i'm negative throughout the day i think that i can't do anything and i hate myself so the reason that sometimes i'll wake up past my alarm is because i wake up at like three in the morning and I stay awake for hours and it's horrible because then when you fall back asleep at five and you're supposed to wake up at six, your body's like, uh, no, I need to work on improving the quality of my sleep because I have no problem falling asleep. It's just staying asleep. So anyway, I'm rambling again, but I'm gonna do my workout. happened on that day that I recorded that intro. I think I just filmed the decorating vlog and then I don't know what happened after that. My memory, bad. But we're going to continue the New Year's planning. So I have my little stuff out again and we did the goals and the vision board last time. And then now I wanna do all of the routines, the priorities, the habits. So I wanna create my weekly priorities. I'm not gonna create a morning routine because I really like my morning routine and then create a night routine. Again, I think I really like my night routine. I want to do the night routine more. So I'm just gonna go over it. And then my weekly reset, I think my weekly reset is fine. I don't need to rehash that. But actually one thing I did wanna do with the weekly reset is create a minimal weekly reset. So the one that I have planned is for me to really go all out and do everything I need to. And I want to create like routines that are more, if I'm feeling low energy, this is what I have to do. That's like the most minimum version of that. We're humans. We have different energy levels. Sometimes we really don't feel like doing something. Sometimes the motivation is just not there. So if we can have different versions of those routines, I think that's going to be helpful. So I want to do a minimal Sunday reset to do on like the Sundays that I want to hang out with friends. So I don't want to take the entire day to do the weekly reset, if that makes sense. And then the last thing would be to create my reading list for 2023. So not my fiction because I just sporadically read fiction if I'm feeling a romance, if I'm feeling a romance or I'm feeling a different kind of romance, you know, but I want to create one for nonfiction. I showed you guys the goals and things that I wanted to achieve in this year. So now I want to actually write those down in this little journal because it's going to be my journal for the year. And then I think I want to break that down even further of things like the action items that I'm going to do for those goals. I'm going to get into the rest of the planning and then I will show you guys where I'm at and what I have planned. the goals in my little journal so that at the beginning of this journal every time I open it the first page that I see are my goals for the new year I did this part of the planning I wanted to take you through it so I put on here I have this weekly agenda spread that I used to use all the time but I also use it on here too 
So we'll see which I like better, but I put my weekly priorities here and then my morning routine and my night routine. For the weekly priorities, we have work. I want to upload two YouTube videos per week and that's on my main channel. The Sims videos, um, those are coming back and I'm gonna do one of those, um, one per week on my gaming channel. I wanna publish three reels per week. I want to upload all my stories daily. And then for well-being, I wanna work out daily, take my vitamins daily, read 10 pages daily, and then my weekly reset and self tan. I have to self tan every week because if I don't, I just don't feel like me. I feel like a better person when I self tan. So that has to be a priority for me. And then my morning routine, which you guys already know my morning routine, but five minute journal, make my bed, brush my teeth, skincare routine. I take my dog out. I take my vitamins. I hydrate and make my little morning beverages. I work out. I meditate now. That's a new habit. I've been doing it every day this year so far and it is phenomenal. I forgot how much I love to meditate. It is really hard, but it's really good. And then breakfast, shower, get ready, that kind of thing. For the evening routine, I never do it like I do my morning routine. I want to follow it like I do the morning routine. So I want to do my 15 minute tidy timer, making sure to always clean before I go to bed so that when I wake up, nothing is messy. I need to fill my water bottle for the morning. So I have that big giant one that you guys saw. And then my skincare routine, the nightly version, and then plan the next day's to-do list. And also just kind of the vibe I want to do on my stories. Because if I don't plan, like make sure I post about my workout or post about this, I just forget. And I just like to have a little, a general guideline of what I'm going to do for my stories. And then my five minute journal, again, the nighttime version, and then read my 10 pages. So those are the little priorities. And that's the weekly agenda spread. And then I did make my reading list. I did put some fiction because I do use Libby, which is a ebook library thing. So with my library card, I always take out ebook and I have these ones on hold right now. So I know that I'm going to read them this year. So for the fiction, I have something wilder. That's a romance. Hotel Nantucket. I don't think it's a romance, but I love Ellen's books. And then the American roommate experience. Pretty sure that's a romance. Wish you were here. I totally forgot what this one is about. Have no idea. The roommate, another romance. Book lovers, another romance. I love Emily Henry and I love books that have to do with books. It's, oh, it just hits. And then it starts with us. I loved it ends with us, but I read it years ago. So it's gonna, I'm gonna need a little refresher. I'm actually gonna pull out the nonfiction books and then show you the covers and everything because I have all of these. So the only one that I don't have actually is Healing ADD. And that is a book that my mom has by one of the doctors that we like, Dr. Amon, I think is his name, but she has that. And then I'm gonna get that after her. But let me show you the actual covers of all these books. This is the pile of all the nonfiction that I wanna read for the year. These are not in order. I just pulled them out from my bookshelf. The first one is the 5 a.m. Club, Own Your Morning, Elevate Your Life. Then the seven habits of highly effective people. Actually, this is my mom's from, I wanna say the fucking 90s, but I don't I don't know when this actually was published, but it's, oh, my mom wrote in it. The next one is The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now. I'm turning 25 in February and it gives me so much anxiety. I have, I'm, I have panic attacks all the time about being already halfway through my 20s and feeling like I have not, I don't know, I'm fulfilled them. So I've had this book and I really need to read it as I'm turning 25. And then this one is Atomic Habits. I have, I think read half of this, but I never finished it. It's so good. I highly recommend it from what I have read. And then Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. Again, I think I've read half of this book, didn't finish it, but it is so good because it is the most actionable book that I've ever read. Most self-help books don't have action plans, like step-by-step, -step, super clear action plans. This one is so actionable. I love this book and I really want to finish it. Then this one my mom got me and I've showed you guys before, but this is why has nobody told me this before? It is essentially a bunch of snippets on things that we all go through in life. Life. And it's just like a little handbook, a little guidebook. My mom got this for me because I'm always having little panic attacks about everything. This one is high priority. And then this one, how to do the work. Again, I've read half of this book, haven't finished it. Have to finish it this year. And then The Untethered Soul. Again, another recommendation from my mother. She really popped off with her reading last year and she said this would be perfect for me. So I'm taking her word for it. And a lot of people also love this book. And then The Emotion Code, How to Release Your Trapped Emotions for Abundant Health, Love, and Happiness. I've had this one and it's just been on my reading list. And then I can't find How to Win Friends and Influence People, but I know I have that book. I just can't find it right now. So that's also on the list. And then a book that I forgot I don't have yet, but I do want to read for the year is Everything I Know About Love. So it is a memoir, nonfiction, and a lot of people were talking about it. And I thought, you know what? Sounds great. Those are the nonfiction books and some of the fiction 
fiction books that I want to read for the new year. That is pretty much everything that I'm going to do for planning in this vlog. I still have planning that I want to do, but this is where I'm going to end this vlog. I'm going to upload this and then in my weekly vlog, I'm going to do my iPad setup. So you can see me putting together the iPad, being a little iPad girly because it is actually today my first day of my spring semester. I think it would be perfect to set up my iPad for school in that weekly vlog. We're just going to continue planning and organizing and doing all the New Year's reset stuff throughout the month. I would love to hear your guys' goals for the new year. So comment them down below. Let's talk about all of our little healthy habits and goals that we have for the year. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.